I recently got the car working, but there's still an issue to fix with the passenger window. We ended up having to take the door apart, pull the glass out, and we found that the regulator inside was bad. Uh, the track and the cable was just a mess. It was beyond repair, and it was time to order a replacement part. Okay, we just got our part in the mail. This is a Dorman 740-603. Hope I got the right one. And it comes with some instructions, so I'll pause for a minute to read them. And already from what I can see here, um, cable looks good, the track is greased up. This is the way it's supposed to be. This part and this part aren't broken, so uh, yeah, far better than what we had. And the first thing to do is just remove the temporary window which I had installed while waiting for this part to show up in the mail. Don't need that anymore. Okay, so the first thing is to get this access panel here back off. And I think the next thing is going to be to pull the motor back out. I temporary I had to reinstall the kind of hub because that's also what holds the motor in place. So I'll take that off now. Okay, so this is our new assembly our existing motor and kind of the center bit here from the original assembly. Um, I'm noticing something different. This has like kind of like a, a splined drive to it and this here has these little pegs coming up instead which does not match that. And thankfully <laughs> if I remove this um, it matches up with that. So um, there we go, that looks better. So this should be able to go right onto there now. Um, got a zip tie to make sure this thing doesn't fall out. So I'm gonna remove that, but also uh, make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Now I should be able to install the original motor into our new um, like this. All I really needed to do was line up the screw holes, flip it over, and put the screws in. So the top has the threaded rods coming horizontal, and the bottom has the ones going vertical. Those go down through the bottom door. So it looks be should be like this the next step is just to get everything out of the way sort of fold up the regulator get it through the access hole and just get it generally lined up then on the left hand side that track is held in place by two 10 millimeter nuts the top one is accessible through this little hole up here And then on the bottom, through an access hole that goes through the bottom of the door. Tighten both those nuts down. So now on the right hand track, there's the hole in the bottom. We gotta get the threaded rod on the bottom of that into there. Put the nut on the bottom and then up at the top. We gotta line it up over here. Oh, I'm sorry. 
No, that's actually for when I put the glass in. Right here is where this bolt goes. So pretty straightforward, just tighten up the nut at the top. Of course, that's the easy one. And then the nut down at the bottom through the bottom of the door. Next, I moved the motor around and plugged in the power cable that goes to it. And then I made sure to get the motor lined up with these three screw holes here that'll hold it in place. And then put in those screws. power here isn't working, so I'm just wondering if maybe because the door switch isn't hooked up, maybe that's why. No, actually there's a little bit of a trick to it. According to the service manual, what you need to do is take a screwdriver, stick it in the latch, and manually close the door latch. Then you'll be able to use the new regulator. So what I did was use the switch over on the driver's side to raise the track here to adjust as needed. And then I was able to snug down that top bolt. The window was pretty dirty, so I'm just gonna clean it before putting it back in. So now I'm actually putting the glass into the door. Uh, one thing you can see here is that on the right there, that tab on the glass is actually open, so it can slide right down uh, over kind of the threaded rod or bolt that's uh, inside on that track. Uh, the other thing I realized was I still had this outside piece of trim on and that was causing me some issues. So I took that off. Once I had that off, I had a little bit more room to work and I was able to get the glass down onto the track here. Once the glass was in place, I could put my socket wrench through this uh, hole in the upper right. But the left side of the glass, you still need to make sure that it clicks down into place. There's a plastic part on the left-hand side of the track. And when you, when you know you got it, you got it. It just sort of clicks in there. Uh, then the window will be nice and level, and it's just a matter of uh, snugging down that nut on the right-hand side. So after that, uh, I was able to roll down the glass and now through the speaker hole, I could actually look through there, uh, see the track where the glass snaps down into it and confirm that it was properly set into place. And then after that, I'm able to raise and lower the glass. It looks like it's all working pretty well. Next, I reinstalled the access panel, making sure that the cable door release went through it and then just put in all the screws holding it in place and then the car speaker had to be mounted back in place as well getting close here the Tesla service manual also mentions to make sure to put back those little stickers over those bolt access holes and likewise uh, this gray rubber connector that the cable goes through to check that. Uh, basically the door needs to be uh, essentially airtight as there's a pressure sensor in there related to the airbag system. To put the door interior panel back on, you'll want a stool or a box or something placed right in front of the door. That gives you a place to set the door panel down uh, while hooking all the wiring back up makes it a lot easier. Uh, there's quite a few wires in here. There's a puddle light and the edge of the door light. Uh, it's pretty obvious what wire goes where. Um, just got to hold the panel close to be able to plug them all back in. I also tested the window switch on the door before finishing up. And then the last thing to do before putting the panel back on is to reconnect the cable for the door release to the handle on the door panel. At least that's how it's supposed to work, but I tried pushing the door panel on and I could not get it to go. It looked like I had to hook it over the top, but then things didn't line up right. Uh, it took me a little while to figure out that there was uh, the weather stripping at the window came off with the door panel. So I pulled that off. 
I put it back on at the top of the door and then it had these protruding parts and I was able to then snap the door panel on. Next, I had to reinstall the one bolt that goes at the bottom of the door pull handle area. Uh, this is kind of deep here and a little bit of a funny angle. So if you have a magnetic driver, uh, that's certainly useful to have right here. And then the door handle release needs to be held in place. There's two screws that do that. Just screw them in. And don't forget about the little plastic cover that uh, covers up that screw at the bottom of the pull handle area. And then on the top outside of the door, there's that piece of uh, window trim and weather stripping that I had removed earlier to make room for getting the glass in and out. Uh, I had to reinstall that, pushing it down, sliding it over, making sure it was lined up and in place. And then lastly, I needed to put the speaker cover back. Uh, this is actually pretty easy. It essentially just pops into place. So just make sure it's lined up, give it a little smack, and it's all good. And the very last thing is just doing some testing. Uh, make sure that the handles inside and out work properly. The window automatically rolls down and up a little tiny bit every time you open and close the door. And of course, check the window switches both on the passenger and on the driver's door. And that's it. It's working. But you don't have to take my word for it. When in doubt, just uh, consult the service manual available at service.tesla.com to make sure that you don't accidentally skip any steps and you're doing it the right way. I hope you enjoyed these videos. Please like, comment, and subscribe to make sure that you see all the videos in this series. And until next time, stay charged up.